Today, I'm going to introduce you to a new friend of mine that's going to be this, one of the stars of the show at our summer market. I'm also going to take you behind the scenes as I work on a very special decoration piece that will welcome you as you enter the manor at the market. And I'm going to give you a sneak peek of our new logo for the Thirsty Whippet Pub. We've never shown anyone before today and you are gonna be the first to see what the new lo logo looks like. And don't forget, if you're enjoying our videos, make sure you hit subscribe on our Ladysmith Manor Diaries channel on YouTube to ensure that you see all our videos as we put them out. But first, let me show you what we've been up to this week. So while we've been working inside on preparations for the market, we've also been working outside because there we have a lot of booths that are going to be outside on our driveway. We're going to be using our lawn. So we have been doing a lot of preparation out here. And you'll remember we had our chicken coop uh, removed a little while ago and there was some a little area that was still um, very rough and didn't have gravel down so this week we had the guys come back they've leveled it all they've added the gravel and it has just changed the whole area again and given us a much much bigger space that we can use for booths and uh, giving everyone at the weekend at the summer market lots more space to move around and we couldn't have a secret garden inspired summer market without flowers and my mum has been doing an amazing job of adding flowers to pots into our um, window boxes or I guess they're porch boxes because they're on our porch rather than in our window but each of these boxes now is filled with color um, we've got all sorts of pots and flowers that are blooming um, and I think our peonies are going to be out for next week too which will be perfect timing it seems like at each market we lose a couple of tents through weather whether it's rain or wind so this year we decided to purchase a couple of more sturdy structures that were used alongside the tents so Stephen put them together with some help from my dad and our friend talk and we have them both now ready to be put into place and decorated ready for the market the manor definitely feels ready to host our secret garden summer market, being nestled in the trees and surrounded by so much green. When I started thinking about the secret garden summer market and the book that I love so much, the first thought that came into my head was, I need to have a robin somewhere in my decor. And I have been following Bella McBride and McBride House for a long time. And if you follow her on Instagram or Facebook, and if you don't, you really should. Um, her work, she does felting, and it is just spectacular. She's amazing in what she does. And so my next thought after I need a robin was, I wonder if Bella could make me a life-size English robin for my market. So I approached her and she graciously agreed and we went and picked the robin up the other day and you are the very first people to see my robin isn't he stunning so this little guy bella mcbride has made like i say if you don't follow mcbride house you need to follow her her work is stunning she's created and made this life-size english robin for me and uh we have some, she even put wire on it so that we can put him on top of the spade handle. Because in my head, the robin sits on top of the handle in the book and just watches and it just seemed perfect. So this little guy is just my absolute favorite. He's my new little best friend. He uh, is being very, very carefully watched because Hendrix has had a little bit of a track record. If you remember Frank Jr., our little mouse, at Christmas a couple of years ago, he didn't fare too well and ended up in lots of pieces on the floor. So uh, our Robin is being very safely guarded on a very high shelf, so Hendrix can't go near him. Um, but he is gonna be our kind of star of the show when you first come into the manor and the summer market. And this mural that Jackie and Peggy did for us this year is the perfect place. So today I'm gonna to be working on a little project that I've come up with to create a very little, a magical space for the robin to sit in. And uh, the first thing I need to do is to get a bucket of earth 
for my spade. After looking at my options, I decided on a fork rather than a spade. And now all I need is a container to fill with earth to stand it in. So I'm going to head up to the attic to see what I can find. So I've just filled this bucket with earth from outside. And uh, it is now ready. <laughs> for my fork to go in. So the idea is that the fork goes in and stands up and then I can add my robin onto the top. So when Bella made this, she added two bits of wire for me so that I can add him onto the top of the uh, fork and he will be, I will be able to secure him so he doesn't fall over. So with him now sitting happily on top of the handle, it's now time for me to move everything around here in the, wall, in the hallway um, and get him sitting in front of the mural and ready for everyone to arrive at the manor. And when you come, you'll be able to say hi and see how it looks when it's all finished. Do you remember the really large tree that came down in the hurricane and we actually put it up at the front of the manor and covered it with lights for our Christmas market? Well, it finally came down this week, and that seems like a long time after Christmas. Um, but we were actually gonna take it down earlier, but discovered that a we had a bird's nest that was in the tree. And obviously we wanted, we didn't want to disturb the bird's nest, so it ended up staying up a lot longer than we were expecting. But this week it came down because we made we made sure that the birds were gone and the nest was empty. But just look what Stephen saved for me. Look at this stunning bird's nest. It just blows my mind how amazing nature is. Just to think that a bird created that and it even kind of looks like a heart, which is even more adorable. So I've kept this and I'm actually gonna use it in my decor for the summer market because uh, it's so pretty that uh, it will be placed somewhere in my decor, so when you come to the market, you'll have to keep your eyes open for it. But uh, just so, so beautiful, and it's kind of perfect timing um, that uh, we have the, the nest, and uh, I'm decorating in the next, uh, next week or so. I thought I would come down to the pub to give you the first look at our new Thirsty Whippet pub logo. Uh, we have just finished it and you are the first to see it and we are so thrilled. It is such a fun logo. Um, and if you've been following us, you'll know that we're using our Whippet, Hendrix. Uh, we took a photo of his head and we've added a vintage military uniform to him and he's kind of our mascot. Um, he's gonna be on all our Thirsty Whippet um, marketing material and our logo and uh, his portrait will be in the pub um, but he looks so so great with this on this logo I it's just so fun um, and so you will now start seeing that in lots of places we will be releasing and starting our Instagram and Facebook pages in the coming months um, we are getting very close to opening uh, we're still not quite there but we are getting very close we're just waiting on still wading through the red tape um, it's been a very frustrating process and been delayed for so so long but we can see the light of the end of the tunnel and we are fighting our way through as quickly as we can because I know that everyone is waiting for the pub to open but our logo is done and we are working on all the bits that we can do while we're waiting for all these people to sign everything off um, so like I say you'll start to see this a lot more over the coming months but uh, just really excited to actually have a logo now so this is the list of all the entries to our ice cream flavor contest. We had over 81 entries and it was so fun reading all your ideas and looking at all the flavors. So thank you to everyone who entered. We have gone through the list and we have now, with along with Sussex ice cream, we have decided on a winner. 
So I now know who has won the ice cream contest, but I'm not gonna tell you because that would spoil the fun, right? So we will be announcing at the market. So to find out if you won, you need to come to the market on the 15th or 16th, come to our ice cream bar, and find out whether we are serving your flavor. So we will be serving the winning flavor at the ice cream bar on the 15th and 16th. The winner will also get two pints of their flavor to take home with them as uh, part of their prize. But like I say, you're gonna need to come to the market to find out what the winning flavor is. And we're gonna not only just have our winning flavor, we're gonna have a whole bunch of other flavors from Sussex ice cream as well for you to choose from. So um, I'm so excited. I'm trying hard because I'm not very good at keeping secrets, but I'm gonna keep this a secret till the 15th and 16th when uh, this person will find out that they've won. But we're very excited. And like I say, thank you to everyone who entered. It was such a fun contest and I can't wait to actually taste it. But, and if you haven't got your, uh, your tickets yet to the market, make sure you click on the link below in the comments um, and or head over to our website and reserve your tickets um, because we have got such a great market planned for you. There's gonna be so many vendors and activities and ice cream that you won't wanna miss this. Uh, so make sure that you've reserved your tickets by heading over now and getting those. And uh, I can't wait like I say, to see you at the market, but also to taste this flavor of ice cream because it's gonna, it sounds yummy and I cannot wait. So uh, I'm gonna get back to work and uh, next week will be, will be just a couple of days away from the market so I will be able to give you a lot more behind the scenes of our preparation and much more of the manner will be completely transformed by then. So we'll be uh, sharing that with you in our next video. But until then, I'm gonna get back to work and I'll see you back here for our next episode of The Ladies With Manor Diaries. Mm -hmm.